Hello Internet! In this video I'm gonna show you how to create animations for any 3D models that you have extracted from your favorite video games. If you don't know how to extract 3D models from video games, uh, there is a tutorial in this channel, the Ninja Ripper tutorial. For extracting the alchemist model that you see here, I followed the Ninja Ripper tutorial step by step. You can find the link to this tutorial in the description of this video. So let's begin. So the very basic and initial step of making an animation is to attach bones to the 3D model. Once the bones are created and attached to the model, then we can animate the bones and then the 3D model will follow the same path of the bone animation. In other words, if there are no bones, there is no animation. But before attaching the bones to the 3D model, to the 3D mesh, we have to place, rotate and resize all the bones so they fit inside the body of this character, the body of this 3D model. And the biped system available in 3ds Max will speed up this process because it has already a bone hierarchy and it has limits for torsion and rotation angles for each type of bone. So we don't need to set up these things.
And here's another very important tool in 3ds Max. Once you have one side of the body with the correct posture, with the bones in the correct positions that you want, you can copy that positions, that posture of the bones, and you can paste that pose on the opposite side. So it will save you a lot of time and it will make the things very symmetrical. So this is how I do it. So I create a new collection of postures and poses. Then I select the bones that have the posture that I want to copy. Then I click in copy posture and paste opposite. And that's it. Now I don't need to resize, place or move all the bones in the other side.
Now that all the bones are fitting perfectly inside our model, the next step will be to attach those bones to the 3D model. And this will be done in the next part of this tutorial. Please, if you like this video, subscribe to receive the next parts of this tutorial and like this video to support this channel. See ya!